Hello everybody and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty. Today we've got an ACC showdown with the Morgan State Bears traveling to take on the Bryant Bulldogs who are 2-0 on the season. Morgan State is 0-1 and, and they've got maybe 6 or 7 decent players and the rest of their squad is buns. Bulldogs come in today's game with two wins. Now their last game they took on the Howard Bison and won that game 54-0. That was also an ACC game. So let's see if they continue their success in conference play here against the Morgan State Bears, who are ranked 49th in the nation. I got the Bulldogs winning this one 31 to 10, but let's see what the guys think about this matchup. I'll see you guys down on the field. Hey football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And a little chill in the air for tonight's matchup between the Morgan State Bears and the Bulldogs. We've got an early season ACC matchup for you today, and I'm really looking forward to this one. And here come the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. The home team is going to look to their quarterback in this one. Now, in my opinion, he is a proven leader at a key position. And Lee, I think he'll bring his team together and find a way to win. You know me, I decided my pick a couple days ago. I'm going with the Golden Bears. <laughs> All right, there you have it. The coach has made his pick. Let's go down to the captains at midfield for today's coin talk. So some mixed predictions there. At least Kirk has some faith in our team. And there is a sack, the first career sack for Ruben Blueberry. He made that look easy. Thomas dropping back again to throw it. And he's going to be sacked once again by Ruben Blueberry. Two sacks, zero coming into today's game, and two in a row, two straight plays. And that's what we want to see from the Bulldogs' defensive line. And they are nasty. And here is Brandon Allen to the outside, past the 30, the 20, and look at the speed. He's gone. Bulldogs strike early, just a minute and 14 seconds into the game, and a 57-yard touchdown run from Brandon Allen, and Thomas is crushed again. He has yet to actually throw a pass. Second and 14, Thomas dropped for a loss once again. This defensive front seven is just dominating so far. And he is crushed again in the backfield, sacked again. Divine Adams this time, fourth and 21. And just a ferocious display from the defensive line of Bryant. Play action from Montanez. And he's going to roll out. Take off left side. Past the 30. And inside the 20-yard line down at the 18. Out of bounds. First and goal from the 8-yard line now. Brandon Allen walks into the end zone. You saw him walking real slow right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Bulldogs on top. 14-0. And they're picking up where they left off last week as they completely destroyed the Howard Bison. But here's a nice pass out to Moss to the 45-yard line for the Bears. But the Bulldogs had 528 yards of offense last week. And here's another pass downfield to Moss for another big-time first down. 393 yards on the ground for the Bulldogs against the Bison in Week 3. And Montanez didn't throw any interceptions, I believe. Two touchdowns. And here's a forced fumble and recovery by the Bulldogs' defense. Not how the Bears wanted to start off today's game. And Montanez going left side. Caught by Lester. He'll pick up seven yards. Montanez was 10 of 18, 135 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception last week. He did throw one pick. And there's Snoopy Tucker with a great spin move out of bounds. Allen with another carry, this time out of the shotgun. Left side runs through the defender and gets inside the 20-yard line. First down inside the red zone. And they'll give it off to A.J. Jordan this time. He'll run over a linebacker. Just puts his shoulder through his helmet. In the second quarter now. Allen, left side. He fumbles the football. It's recovered by Bryant, though. They get the first down and goal that they needed. From the nine-yard line, play action. Over the middle, L.J. Topher for six. He had one touchdown last week on three catches for 53 yards. And he also had one uh, touchdown on punt returns. Great game for LJ Topher last week. And he's picking up where he left off. This whole team is just playing phenomenal so far. And this is a kickoff. 
You know what happens on kickoffs when I show them to you. Moss is going to take this one to the house. A.J. Jordan is fast, but not fast enough. The Bulldogs band didn't even stop playing by the time he hit the end zone. Montanez taking a deep shot way downfield. Inside the 20, caught off the deflection. A.J. Jordan inside the 10-yard line. What a play. That reminded me of Georgia versus Auburn a few years back. Phenomenal concentration from the halfback. And it's first and goal for Bryant. And they're looking to have a three-score lead here. Montanez on the option and hit. And he pitches it out to Allen. Easy touchdown again. That is the third rushing touchdown of the half for Brandon Allen. Thomas hit as he throws and Woods lays out for the reception. First down, Morgan State. And they get a good run play here, picking up another first down. They're finally deciding to uh, put together a nice drive on offense, but Cy Summers has other ideas. What a huge hit on Myers. Thomas hit as he throws it, and it's caught by Myers. He gets the first down and more. That was a crazy play. That ball was in the air for about five minutes. And another huge hit here for Cy Summers. He has been a menace on defense this season. Thomas taking a shot to the end zone, caught, brought down by Reed for the touchdown. That was an easy play. 28-14 is the score here as Brandon Allen once again to the outside. Stiff arms the defender, past midfield, the 40, the 30. He's going to take another one to the house, his fourth of the first half. Phenomenal athlete. 68-yard touchdown run, four touchdowns today. He had two last week on the ground, one receiving. He also had a pancake and a tackle last week. And four 20-plus yard runs. He's adding to that stat today. His running backs are just unstoppable. They're unmatched. Only maybe by Savannah State. And there's another completion out to Woods in the open field past the 50. And Tadian Moss finally tracks him down to the 36-yard line. Third and 20 now, though. And the Bears taking a shot. Caught and dropped by Smith. Cy Summers puts the hit on him. Bulldogs go three and out. The Bears get the ball back, and they'll complete a nice pass out to Woods. He is popped at the end of the play. Third and ten. Thomas sacked again back at the 40-yard line. Fourth and 17 upcoming, and the Bulldogs with another chance here to get some more points on the board. Everybody's flying around on defense hitting the quarterback. A.J. Jordan runs through the safety, and L.J. Topher seals the edge. A.J. Jordan is gone. With one second remaining in the first half, a 55-yard touchdown run. Impressive strength right there, running straight through the safety. LJ Topher pancakes a cornerback. Great team effort so far. 42-14 is the score going into the half. 400 yards of offense for the Bulldogs. 178 from Morgan State with one turnover. And they're going to start off with Jordan picking up five yards off the right side. He's got 71 yards today with one touchdown on five carries. Video game numbers, folks. Video game numbers. Left side, A.J. Jordan wide open on the pass. A back juke gets him five extra yards up to the 43. Montanez setting up the screen to the fullback. And he's going to get the first down and more now, running over a safety again. And that actually might have been a linebacker, which is more impressive. Montanez to the end zone. L.J. Topher, his second touchdown of the game. Topher, the favorite target of Montanez. And a perfectly placed pass. The cornerback stood no chance. What a pretty throw. Third and seven now for the Bears. It's 49-14. Not even a close matchup right now. Moss taken down short. Stephon Okafor. And the Bulldogs get the ball again. And Montanez taking a deep shot downfield inside the 10-yard line. Snoopy Tucker. First and goal. Third and goal now from the seven. Montanez going to keep it on the option. He's going to walk into the end zone for his first career rushing touchdown. And that was just way too easy. I'm not even sure what was the secondary was doing on that play. Thomas taking a shot right side. Caught by Reed. He'll have a first down and more pushed out of bounds. First and 10. Thomas left side. They're hitting halfbacks here on this drive. First down and more. And Cy Summers takes him down out of bounds. Myers gets the toss, and Summers takes him down for a loss. He has been all over the field today. 
Thomas taking a deep shot, and that is probably one of the worst passes I've ever seen. He was about 20 yards past the receiver. Fourth and one, the Bears fake it, and they get the first down up to the 36. That's the first fake punt we've seen in this dynasty. Thomas taking a shot down the middle of the field, caught by Woods, first and 10 at the 14. And Thomas gonna take a shot right side now to Moss. And he's very close to another first down, second and one. Right side, Smith stopped at the one yard line. A great tackle by the outside linebacker. Second and goal, the fullback would punch it in. And he wasn't even touched. 56-21 is the score. And here's Brandon Allen, taken down, fumbles the football. Morgan State recovers it. What a great play by the cornerback, hitting through LJ Topher and then forcing the fumble. Thomas to the end zone, wide open is Anderson. Not sure what's going on in the secondary on the right side, but he was just wide open. 56 to 28 now, AJ Jordan in the open field, past the 40, past midfield, pushed out of bounds at the 47 yard line. They're just making it look so easy running the football. And here's a great spin move by Jordan, picks up a first down. Now first and five, the backup quarterback is in, and he somehow squeezes through three defenders and picks up nine yards on a first down. That was probably the most impressive run I've seen today, and that's saying a lot. A.J. Jordan, left side, looking a little slow. He'll pick up a first down, though, as the Bulldogs try to run some clock out. Allen, 2.11 on the ground. Jordan, 124. Impressive. And the third string halfback is now in the game, and he is fast. Touchdown, Bulldogs, 63 to 28 is your score here in an ACC matchup that was supposed to be a close game and Summers absolutely destroys the halfback, or the quarterback, excuse me. That's a concussion. My goodness gracious. Third and 10, Bulldogs back on offense. Mitchell going for the end around. Snoopy Tucker's got it. He has got blazing speed. Jukes to the outside, spins back to the 31 yard line. That was his first career carry. And the Bulldogs go over 400 rushing yards with that run. And they'll continue the ground game to Marshall, the backup fullback. He'll pick up six. Brandon Allen, player of the game for the Bulldogs. 2-11 on the ground, four touchdowns on 14 carries. Thomas, player of the game for the Bears. That is their quarterback. And Jordan's got the first down and more. Juking in and out of traffic, and he's going to score again. Oh, my goodness. Now, that was nasty. Looks like he's just going to stay in bounds. Then Jukes twice. Faking out two defenders, dives for the pylon. 70 to 28 is the score, folks. And Silva, the backup halfback, is stuffed by Kendrick for a loss. Rich hit as he throws, and that is picked off by Tadian Moss off the deflection. He'll return it to the 23-yard line. And that, my friends, is the ball game. That was just a great reaction from Moss. Great awareness by the cornerback. 70 to 28 is the final, folks. Bryant Bulldogs 2-0 in ACC play, and they have just cruised to both victories. 54 to nothing over the Howard Bison and 70 to 28 today over the Morgan State Bears. They are looking unbeatable at this point. And their first game of the season, it was subscriber versus subscriber game against VMI. They won that one. Of course, VMI had a bunch of subs uh, suspensions, so we don't know how that game would have really turned out if they were at full strength. Morgan State negative 16 yards rushing. But they did have 312 through the air. We sacked them four times today. They were two for nine on third downs, two turnovers. Just a very impressive win today for the Bulldogs. And it looks to me like Bryant is on a collision course to take on Savannah State in the ACC championship game. It might be a little too early to tell, but that's my prediction for this season, folks. Montanez looked really impressive today. Two touchdowns, no interceptions. Brandon Allen, A.J. Jordan, of course. Phenomenal performance by them. The third string halfback had a touchdown run. Noel Montanez had a touchdown run. Snoopy Tucker ran the football once for 18 yards. The fullbacks were getting in on the action. Two fullbacks had over 10 yards rushing today on, I think, a carry apiece. One of the fullbacks had a 14-yard reception. Morgan State just had no answer for this offense or for the defensive line of the Bryant Bulldogs. LJ Topher, two receptions today for two touchdowns, 38 yards, one drop. Ben Miller, nine pancakes. Kenneth Harrington, six pancakes. LJ Topher with three. Snoopy Tucker, a small wide receiver who's 5'7", 160, had two pancakes. 
Cy Summers, seven tackles. Ruben Blueberry with four. Tadian Moss, four. Stephon Okafor with three. Divine Adams had two, two for a loss. Snoopy Tucker, two tackles for a loss. He plays some cornerback out there. Joe Owens, the left end, only won one tackle today. He's usually a little more impressive than that. Ruben Blueberry, Cy Summers, Divine Adams, and Okafor all had two tackles for a loss. Ruben Blueberry, two sacks. Divine Adams with one. One pick for Tadian Moss, his second on the season. No pass deflections for subscriber players. It was a forced fumble and a recovery today. No field goals, only touchdowns here in Rhode Island. LJ Topher, 48 yards on kick returns. And 11 on punt returns. There is the top three players for both teams. Six rushing touchdowns combined for the halfbacks. My goodness gracious. Moss for the Morgan State Bears, of course, had the kick return for a touchdown. Our next Bryant Bulldog football game. They host the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats as they continue their ACC play. That'll be out uh, next week sometime or the week after that, whatever. UC Davis is our next game. That'll be out tomorrow. They uh, travel to New Mexico State to take on the 25th ranked Aggies in our first annual Aggie Bowl. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. I hope to see you in the comments section below discussing this game. See you tomorrow, guys. Take it easy.